Yo, okay, face guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm bringing you the Cadence Accelerator 8 inch subwoofer. Now, if you didn't watch the original video, I did an unboxing of this and another subwoofer that Cadence had sent out for review. But we're going to focus on this right here. So, briefly, since I've already done a video on it, I'll talk about what this is. This is an 8 inch um, subwoofer with its own built in amplifier and box, as you guys can see. So, it's kind of like a plug and play kind of system for those who want a little extra oomph in the back of the trunk but don't want anything ridiculous or crazy or anything that's going to take all your trunk space so this has a very small footprint you can kind of see my hand on top of there has not one but two eight inch drivers and i believe it doesn't say anything about this in the manual or anything like that but i believe one of this one of these speakers is an active eight inch and then on the other side is a passive radiator and for those who don't know what a passive radiator is or what it does this speaker is not ported so the passive radiator acts as a port but you don't have the port chuffing the noise that it makes anything like that and you're able to keep the enclosure super small and still get really good deep bass output so i've actually just installed this not too long ago and i've been riding around my city listening to a lot of different music and i'm absolutely impressed with this guy so for what it is i'm going to do a demo i know you guys won't be able to hear exactly what i'm hearing so i'll let you know what i experience um, but this thing sounds really really good and i have it tucked in the corner back here it has velcro straps on the on the bottom there's some velcro straps on the bottom of it so that when you're riding around in your car you're not going to be sliding the subwoofer around and pulling wires and, and top, topping it over. So it's really nice. It's well built. It's really solid. It looks good and it's small. So it just fits right there in the corner. And then I have all of my trunk space with me. So if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm used to having a really big box in here with two SCAR VXF12s that will be swapped out soon for a sundown, which we'll talk about in a different video. So I'm used to some pretty loud bass and I'm used to having my trunk completely filled up with wires. That's why you see um, wires and an amp back there and all that stuff there but for, without further ado we'll go ahead and play a few bass songs i'm going to slow it down a little bit because you know copyright reasons um, i'm going to play some songs i'm going to slow it down a little bit to avoid the copyright and then i'll let you guys know what i think about it all right guys so we are in the car and i'm using my stereo microphone which picks up bass pretty well so you should get a good idea of what it sounds like bass wise if you're using a pair of headphones or listening to it on like a home theater system or something it does come with a bass knob down here it looks like this if i get the focus so not bad it's made of plastic but it feels the knob itself feels pretty sturdy so that's really good to see but anyway we're gonna go ahead and play a few songs i have a playlist here that's full of bass music so we'll play a couple songs inside the car and then i'll show you what's going on outside the car and then we'll talk about it so let's do it let's use All right, guys, sorry if it's a little bit windy out. It's a really nice day, so I wanted to take advantage of it. Um, but to go ahead and give the full review of the 
Accelerator 8, uh, the ADSA. I love this thing actually. It's very good for the size and the power that it has. It, it sounds really good. And the benefit you get from having a sub like this that has a passive radiator and it's small, is you get really tight bass um, all the way across the frequency spectrum. So low bass all the way up to the mids and highs. It sounds really good. It blends really well with door speakers. Um, so it sounds like one cohesive uh, system. It sounds like you don't have a subwoofer in your truck or your, or your car. It just sounds like all the bass is coming from your door speakers, which is really cool. And then you can see it takes up absolutely no space in your trunk. So if you're somebody who likes to put golf clubs back here or you grocery shop often, or you just have something that needs to be back here, you don't lose any of that real estate. So it's really nice to have. And then the, the only downside to this sub, and this is not particular to the Cadence Accelerator ADSA. This is for all subwoofers that come with uh, amplifier powered active enclosures. This is for every one of them and this is no different. Because it has its own amplifier, it means it has its own DSP, its own digital sound processing. And what that means is that as you start to turn the volume up to a certain level, the bass stops rising to protect the small speakers that are inside of it. Kind of like a factory radio. When you turn the speakers up um, so much, the bass stops increasing, but the volume kind of starts to continue to go up. And that's because the speakers aren't strong enough to handle the excess bass that you're giving it. No different here with the ADSA. The higher you, you turn the volume up, whether it's the radio or the sub on the uh, remote amp, the remote knob, it's gonna stop going up at a certain point to protect the small drivers that are in there. So what that means to you, it may not be loud enough for you maybe, but you also can never blow the speaker. It will never distort, it will never blow um, because the amp is protecting itself. That's really nice to have. Um, but with that being said, it does get pretty loud. Um, it's not loud enough to rattle your trunk or your door. So if, if you're somebody who doesn't want that, then this is the sub for you. But it is loud enough to kind of shake your mirrors. So it, it does pretty good. It keeps up pretty well with the, the overall volume of the music. Um, I did a review on the Rockville SS8P under seat subwoofer. That's also an 8-inch speaker. That's probably a little bit it's shallow, so it's meant to go under a seat. Um, but it has an 8-inch speaker, and it, it can't touch this whatsoever. The price point is is pretty close. This is probably at 70 bucks or more than the SS8P, but it's far, far better than the SS8P. Um, it's absolutely amazing what Cadence has done in this small little enclosure. Now, granted, I've never heard another enclosure like this before other than this one, but I've heard small eight inch speakers before. Um, and this one sounds really good. Again, it's really tight, articulate. If you're more for the sound quality kind of person, it's the sub for you. If you're more for the, I just want some a little extra low end to my music, this is the sub for you. If you're somebody who wants to, you know, roll the windows down and blast it through the city, this is not for you. It's not meant to do that. It's meant to add um, a pretty good amount of oomph to the low end of your music when you're, you know, riding around your car. So I give this five out of five stars. It's very good. It's built well. It looks pretty cool. It takes up no space in your trunk. It actually digs really deep, plays pretty low to be surprised. Um, I'm very surprised with that. It plays really low. Um, so I can't be, I can't, I don't have anything bad to say about it. So guys, if you're looking for a small, a small form factor powered enclosure, look at the Cadence Accelerator ADSA. I will leave a link down in the description right to their site so you can check it out if you'd like to. And if you haven't seen the unboxing and overview video of the sub, go back and watch that video as well. Thank you so much Cadence Sound for sending this out to me. We still have some other subs from them to do. We have the Ultra Drive 12s, the UD12s to send in for review. We're gonna get that in the vehicle next. Um, so stay tuned for that and I'll link you to all the other Cadence Sound videos that I've done in the past. Thank you for watching guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, this guy out, peace.